Hello and welcome to a Minecraft video. I'm Scudo Buyo playing vanilla Minecraft 15W36D of the upcoming release of 1.9 PC edition and this video is another video about clocks. Um, in this video I'm going to be featuring a despawn clock that has kind of a unique design. Um, uh, this is a one minute clock so I will be using arrows fired from a dispenser to, uh, uh, to power the clock. So. Uh, let me start by placing a dispenser on the ground facing upwards and on top of that dispenser I'm going to put a fence and on top of the fence I'm going to put a pressure plate. Go ahead and stock the dispenser with arrows and then on either side of the fence place a block and on top of those blocks I want a dot of redstone dust. Uh, let me take the arrows out of the dispenser for just a moment. Now, uh, when the pressure plate uh, activates, it's going to power the redstone on both sides there. Uh, so when a dispenser fires an arrow, it's going to get stuck uh, more or less kind of in the fence, but it's going to activate the pressure plate, and, and that will uh, cause the signal to uh, uh, on either side to go. Put the arrows back there. Now, off of one side of uh, the redstone, uh, put a block with a redstone torch facing away from it. And then underneath the redstone torch, you want two blocks and uh, with redstone on top, pointing back into the block. Now, uh, when this redstone torch turns on, it's gonna activate uh, this redstone wire, which is gonna send a signal and weakly power this block here. Uh, and if there was a dispenser uh, where the fence is on top of the, the dispenser here, but if there was a dispenser where the fence is, weakly powering this block would activate that dispenser. Uh, and um, that uh, will activate this dispenser down here, but only when this dispenser receives a block update. That's called quasi-connectivity. So I'm going to rely on that quasi-connectivity uh, to create kind of a loop here. Uh, so an arrow is going to be fired from this dispenser. It's going to get stuck in the fence, activate the pressure plate. The pressure plate is going to send signal uh, to uh, these redstone wires uh, and um, that will turn off uh, this uh, redstone torch here, which will turn off the signal here. But when the arrow despawns, uh, this torch will turn back on and it will send a signal here. Uh, so when the arrow despawn, uh, despawns, uh, this block gets powered uh, and then this dispenser will uh, fire another arrow when it receives a block update. Now the way in which we, we give this dispenser a block update uh, is uh, with flowing water. So let me put a piston up here on the other side of this, uh, of the, on the other redstone wire here coming off the pressure plate. So we've got a piston here and I'm going to surround um, this piston with some glass. Just uh, those seven blocks of glass there. And then on um, uh, now on either side of the piston uh, uh, inside the glass, I'm going to place water. And that uh, those two water source blocks, uh, when the piston is up, will create another water source block, uh, which will flow into the space next to the dispenser. That causes a block update to the dispenser. Okay. Now the dispenser, it received a block update, and so that quasi-connectivity forced it to activate, and it shot another arrow. You can see it just poking up there, uh, the tip of it here. Uh, you can see another arrow there, uh, and that arrow uh, has uh, is um, activating this pressure plate, which is causing the signal. Now this torch is off, uh, but once the arrow despawns, this torch will turn on. It'll send a signal into this block here, uh, so this dispenser will be waiting for another block update in order to activate. Uh, but also when this arrow despawns, uh, the piston will retract, allowing the water to flow in and uh, cause that block update to the dispenser. So I'm going to uh, sneak in there and grab that arrow uh, just to pretend that it despawned after a minute. And the piston goes up. Water flows next to the dispenser and causes the dispenser to fire another arrow. Uh, and since arrows have a despawn time of one minute, uh, that means that this clock has a, a period of approximately one minute. Uh, now you can uh, allow this to uh, send out a water pulse every one minute. 
There we go. We've got kind of a short water pulse. Uh, and if you want to increase the, um, the duration of the water pulse, uh, you can just simply increase the amount of time that it takes for the water here to reach the dispenser. So I'm going to send it around a little bit here. There we go. Let's grab this arrow here. And now we've got a longer water pulse uh, every one minute. <laughs> that uh, uh, This is a, a very strange clock. It, uh, it does work pretty reliably, though. Uh, um, the only problem is, of course, you do have to stock this with arrows periodically in order to make it uh, keep working. Uh, but uh, this is a fun little design. Uh, uses some unusual properties. Uh, um, but uh, I, um, I like this clock. I don't really use it anywhere. I just think it's fun. So uh, that's it then for this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, please uh, don't hesitate to leave a note in the comments. And thank you for watching.